Welcome to our next video to assist San Diego State University faculty with using the Turnitin features available through the Blackboard LMS system. Today's video is going to concentrate on how to delete, download, and move papers within the Turnitin system. So to begin with, we've logged into Blackboard. So if you haven't already done that, please go to blackboard.sdsu.edu and log in. And when you do that, you will come to my SDSU page, which is shown here on the screen. And the first thing you'll want to do then is in the upper left hand course, corner, select courses. This will take you to the list of courses that you're instructing or you're enrolled in. And select a course that you are the instructor on where you have a Turnitin assignment created. Now in the lower left hand corner under course management, you're going to see the control panel and the second drop down is course tools so go ahead and select that and this is where it lists all the tools available in Blackboard for the instructor and if you come down there alphabetical to turn it in assignments so we'll go ahead and select that and you should see the assignments that you've created for your students to turn in and for today's examples we're going to use an area that we've marked G5 sample assignment and here's a list of submitted papers. So the first item we're going to talk about today is deleting a file. Maybe a student submitted a file twice and has let you know that you need to delete one. So how would you do that? So on the left hand side of each of the student files which are listed at the bottom here you'll see a little checkbox. And you want to go ahead and select the checkbox of the paper you'd wish to delete and that will make a drop down menu appear on the right that now has three buttons and so you've got your delete button download and move to and if you select delete that will delete the paper and so it gives them a little warning message are you sure you want to delete the selected papers and if you go ahead hit OK you will delete that paper for the sake of this video I'm not going to delete the paper just because we want to leave that for um, any other future videos we have. But that is how you would delete a paper from the inbox. Now the next step we were going to talk about today is downloading papers. And there's two ways that you can do this. You can do this through individual papers. So you could select one paper again with the checkbox on the left. And that makes the drop down menu appear here. And now you've got a download options. So it's going to give you two options, the original file which is just says the student submitted it or the grade mark paper which is when you've marked up a paper with your comments and items for the students feedback it's on there. So either one of those that you would like. If I select original file bring that and that's going to download a copy. So we'll ask for that file in PDF. and now it's downloaded and I'm going to show you one other example in downloads very quickly here say you wanted to download all of the papers if you select down here where the students are submitted the checkbox above all of the entries it will select all of the files for you and I'm again on the right going to hit download and so I'll do the original file I'll do the PDF and click here to begin and so now just to show you really quickly I'm going to open up my download history and you can see it's created a zip file from Turnitin that has those papers within it. Now the last thing we're going to talk about in this video is how to move assignments. So Turnitin gives you some different options that we've talked about in earlier videos uh, viewed papers, marked papers. So if you select a file and one more time we've opened up the Dropbox or the row of new options and move to. Turnitin gives us a very simple folder system to use. So say I've already read a paper, I've already marked and I want to move that paper into a separate folder, I can do that. And now it does not appear in the inbox anymore but if I go to viewed papers which is the box I selected you'll see that moved that file to this folder. So just an easier way to uh, move files around to keep track of student entries and which ones you've already reviewed. So we hope this video was helpful in 
using the Turnitin software located through the Blackboard LMS system.